Have you ever wondered how buildings are demolished safely and efficiently? Welcome to another episode of Mech Minds Hub, where these innovative construction equipment bring down massive structures. Let's get started! You may have been encountered this machine before without knowing its name. Meet the Hydraulic Breaker, a powerful tool that is attached to an excavator or a skid steer loader. It uses a hydraulic hammer to deliver high-impact blows to the concrete or masonry of the structure. The hydraulic breaker can break through walls, floors, columns, beams, and foundations. It is used to cut rebar and steel. This machine is one of the most common and versatile demolition tools as it can be used in various situations and environments. While the hydraulic breaker excels at demolishing concrete and masonry, it proves less adept at cutting metal. For this specific task, a different tool is essential, and the shear fits the bill. The shear is another attachment that can be installed on a loader or an excavator. It cuts through metal constructions including steel beams, pipelines, cables, and wires using its two blades. The shear's primary benefit is its ability to quickly and precisely cut metal and crush masonry and concrete. When dismantling industrial plants, ships, and bridges, the shear comes in very handy. Apart from the challenge of cutting metal, building demolition presents additional complexities such that large chunks of masonry or concrete may occasionally need to be removed without breaking them into smaller pieces. To address this, the crusher comes into play. This additional attachment can be installed on a loader or an excavator. It features a hydraulic jaw that clamps onto and crushes large pieces of concrete or masonry. The material can be reduced in size by the crusher without creating an excessive amount of dust or noise. It separates the rebar and steel from the concrete. The crusher is ideal for recycling and reusing the demolished material as it can produce aggregates that can be used for new construction projects. Crushing concrete and masonry is one way of recycling the demolished material. But what if you want to reuse the metal as well? For that, you need the machine called the magnet. The magnet is another attachment that can be attached to an excavator or a loader. It uses a powerful electromagnet that can lift and move metal objects such as rebar, steel, pipes, and wires. The magnet can sort and separate the metal from the non-metallic material, making it easier to transport and recycle. It is very efficient and cost-effective as it can save time and labor. There are other methods besides lifting and moving metal objects for relocating the demolished material. Occasionally, you have to load and unload cargo from containers or trucks. To do this, you need to utilize a machine known as grapple. A grapple is an additional attachment that can be attached to a loader or an excavator. It makes use of a hydraulic claw that is capable of grabbing and holding a variety of materials, including metal, wood, plastic, concrete, and masonry. In addition, the grapple has tilt and rotational movement, which lets it adapt to various postures and angles given that it can handle materials of various sizes and forms. The grapple is incredibly adaptable and versatile. It does, however, have certain disadvantages, including weight, complexity, and wear and tear. Grabbing and holding material is not the only way of handling the material. Sometimes, you need to sweep and clean the debris and dust from the demolition site. Enter the machine called Broom. Another attachment that can be mounted on a skid steer loader or a tractor. It uses a rotating brush that can sweep and collect the debris and dust from the ground. The broom can also have a water spray system that can reduce the dust and improve the visibility. The broom is very simple and effective as it can keep the site clean and safe. During demolition, there are instances where precision cutting is required especially for structures with intricate designs or when dealing with reinforced concrete. The diamond wire saw is a highly specialized tool used for such tasks. It consists of a wire embedded with diamond segments that can cut through concrete, stone, and metal with remarkable precision. The diamond wire saw operates by running the wire through a series of pulleys and applying tension to create a clean and controlled cut. 
Despite its effectiveness, the diamond wire saw requires skilled operators and can be expensive to operate due to the cost of diamond segments and maintenance. Apart from conventional method of sweeping, property cleaning may require some chemicals or water. To do this, you may need a machine called the sprayer. It is an additional attachment that can be mounted on a tractor or skid steer loader. It works by using a nozzle and a pump to spray chemicals or water onto the area. A tank and hose for storing and supplying chemicals or water can also be added to the sprayer. The sprayer can easily wash and rinse the area, making it incredibly practical and handy. Washing and rinsing the site is not the only way of dealing with the environmental impact of demolition. Sometimes, you need to reduce the emissions and noise from the demolition equipment. This task can be done by a machine called the silencer. The silencer is another attachment that can be added to an excavator or a loader. It uses a muffler and a filter that can reduce the noise and the exhaust from the engine. The silencer can also have a catalytic converter and a particulate filter that can reduce the emissions and the pollution. This machine is very important and beneficial as it can protect the environment and the health of the workers and the public. Modern technology has revolutionized the way demolition projects are planned and executed. Drones, equipped with high-resolution cameras and sensors, play a crucial role in assessing the condition of structures slated for demolition. They can provide aerial surveys, capturing detailed images and data that help engineers and demolition experts formulate effective strategies. Drones also contribute to safety by inspecting hard-to-reach areas without putting workers at risk. Additionally, drones can monitor the demolition process in real time ensuring that it proceeds according to plan and identifying any potential hazards. However, challenges such as regulatory restrictions and limited battery life need to be addressed to fully leverage the potential of drones in demolition operations. The shoring is another attachment that can be used with an excavator or a loader. It uses a hydraulic jack and a steel beam that can support and stabilize the structure during demolition. The shoring can also have a sensor and a monitor that can measure and display the pressure and the movement of the structure. The shoring is very critical and essential, as it can prevent the collapse and the damage of the structure and the nearby buildings. Last on the list, the most important tool for demolition is the explosive. It uses a chemical compound that can detonate and create a powerful blast that can break and collapse the structure. The explosive can also have a timer and a detonator that can control the timing and the sequence of the blast. The explosive is very spectacular and impressive as it can demolish the structure in a matter of seconds. Did you find this video interesting? What caught your eye? Let us know in the comments below. Always remember to observe safety precautions. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to MechMind's Hub channel for more content like this. Thank you for watching!